Hi everyone, thanks for joining today. This is Carrie Watson, the founder of Outside Looks. We are a hub for resources for specialty retailers, primary, primarily in the outdoor industry. Um, today's audio article, we're discussing why um, retailers in our industry feel this level of anxiety. Um, we feel this point of pressure and we can't quite define why we feel like this and where the stress is coming from. So technically, uh, we named this article on our website, Now is the Time We Question Our Existence in Independent Retail. Pour me a drink. So join me as I discuss what's happening here and why you feel this pressure and anxiety about the upcoming season. Now is the time we question our existence, but why? We just fought tooth and nail to get rid of the last bits of last season's merchandise. The store is full of fresh new product for the season. We're locked and loaded and ready to go for this next new season. But why am I so antsy? Why do I feel this inevitable pressure that I just can't quite pinpoint? What is going on? In order to understand this, we've got to take an objective look at the past. So in reflection, we've just completed a successful season, and part of completing a successful season includes selling merchandise for less than ideal margins. Nope, don't want to think about that again, but you know, it's all part of retail. We have to cash out on product and sometimes at gut-wrenchingly low margins to mitigate the risk of owning stuff that sticks around forever. These low margins are a thorn in our side, but we have to look at the big picture here. That merchandise ideally made full margin for the first 80% of its sell-through, and just recently we sold the very last bit of it at a discount of 20%. So if we think of the big picture, it's all a game of averages. Markdowns are a part of business, and we should expect to take markdowns as a way to achieve 100% sell-through. Rejoice in the cash that's in your bank account now, and it's not trapped in your inventory. So taking an objective look into, the, into ha what's happening right now, last season's cash has paid the bills and hopefully there is some left over, cash meaning. The new season is emerging, the weather is changing, and we're on the bleeding edge of having the latest, greatest, newest merchandise for our shoppers to purchase. The new receipts are daunting. That's a lot of new stuff to have waiting in accounts payable. We know it will sell. We go through this freak out moment every single year, but why? Traffic. Traffic count naturally takes a downturn during this time of the year, and that's part of the reason why the shop feels so sluggish. Our conversion, or the percentage of total shoppers that buy something, so our conversion percentage rate might stay consistent, but when total traffic numbers decrease, the number of purchases also decrease. It's a direct reflection of why revenue takes a dip. Another component of frustration is that shoppers are searching for promotions and they're looking for deep discounts and they're very quick to offer this feedback to us as managers and sales staff. They're taking advantage of the, of the retailers that are still working on their clearance section. And at this point in time, it's typically 60% off or more. So I'm sorry, shopper, but we've already sold through that high risk asset. Taking an objective look into the future of what's causing our anxiety. Shopping is seasonal. Traffic patterns change. It's not rocket scientists, y'all. But why are we still so uneasy about it? It can be hard to define unless you're proactively planned for the situation for the future. And you can do that through knowing your break-even point. What? Yes, your break-even point. Your break-even is the point that your sales have paid for all of the expenses. Break-even is the point that you start generating extra money. Break-even is the point that you actually become profitable. If revenue doesn't surpass your break-even point, then you don't break even. You don't make money. You actually lose money. You lose cash, and you're in the red. 
Fear not. (laughs) It's not all dismal, so hear me out. Think back to the merchandise sell-throughs example earlier. Most of the time, 80% business is profitable, but sometimes we have to take a hit on the chin and lose some of that profitability when we go into discount mode. And it's an expected part of doing business in the long run. Sometimes our operations behave in a very similar fashion. We make full price profit, woohoo! But we have to be smart about these profits. We have to save them for a rainy day, like when we don't make enough revenue to actually break even every single month. So knowing the break the monthly break even point of your business is incredibly powerful. In the actual article, we have a graph that depicts monthly revenue as a, as a column graph, and we have the break-even point as one solid line across the entire line graph. And some months, our revenue goes above the break-even point, and other months, it goes just slightly under the break-even point. So what does this mean? There are months that we far surpass the break-even point, and then there are months that we barely make it, and months that we don't make it. We're not going to throw in the towel on those non-break-even months just because they aren't profitable. The lesson is, with a little bit of knowledge and a little bit of planning, we can save the profits from profitable months to use in some of the tougher months where we don't make as much revenue. If you need help figuring out your break-even point, we have free tools on outsidelooks.com and navigate to the free tools menu and enter in your email address to get a link to the break-even calculator. Thanks for joining us. This is Carrie Watson, and I look forward to seeing you next time.